Hello YouTube and welcome to my first Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to get a quick and easy depth of field effect on any of your pictures. So once you've selected the image you'd like to get your depth of field onto, you duplicate your background layer. The easiest way to do that is to right click and put duplicate layer. I'm going to be nice and boring and call mine just background copy but you can call yours whatever you like. You need to make sure you're actually working on the background copy and not the background or else whatever you do will not work. Okay. Now the thing you want to do first is to select the area you want to stay in focus. To do this you can use the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, the pen tool or my preferable choice, the quick selection tool. And with this you just click and drag and it will select it all for you and usually it will snap to a nice big selection. And for any parts you want deselected, you just press the Alt key and you can see that the icon is now changing from a plus to a minus. And you just click and drag again to deselect any parts you don't want. Now for this image I'm going to be selecting the tarmac you'll create a nice effect right down the image and leave all the trees in the background back here all blurred Okay. now when you're doing this for yourself you may want to spend a bit longer on cutting it just as fine and crisp as you can maybe five ten minutes on just making it as perfect as you can, but for tutorial purposes I'm going to get this done nice and quick. Once you have selected the desired area you're going to want to press the Q button and it will take you into Quick Mask. And from this you can actually see your selection a lot better than how you've done your cutting. And you may, using this, you may want to go back and just make it a lot better to do it. To do that you press the Q key again and it will take you back and then once you want to get back into quick mask mode you press the Q key and it will take you back into that while you're in quick mask mode you want to apply Gaussian Blur to do that you go to filter blur Gaussian Blur and you want to make it about 16, 17 pixels just around them any number in between them I like to use 16.5 because there's a slap bang in the middle. And then once you've got that, you just press OK. And you exit Chris Mouse Mode by pressing the Q key. And you want to save the selection you've done. So you've got to select, save selection, and just call it whatever you like. And I'm just going to call mine selection. And then if you actually go into your channels, you can see that other than the red, green, blue and the red, green, blue here you've actually got another channel called selection which will be in the shape of that. You go back to your layers and you can now deselect this by control D done. Now the next thing you want to do is to apply lens blur. You want to go to filter, blur, just under the Gaussian blur, go to lens blur and you want to make sure your source is the channel you just made and thankfully and usually it does select it for you uh, in the case it doesn't you just click on the drop box and you go and click it yourself you want to make sure this is clicked, the invert box you want your radius to be on 20 you just click OK and now you can see that all of this background is blurred compared to what it used to be if we just click on this see what it used to be, what it is now, you've got your little before and after, you can see the tarmac it's looking more crisp in this part than it is in this it's just applying a lot more focus on the tarmac making it look as though the picture goes back further ok, what you want to do next is click on this layer, make sure it's all clicked on and you want to apply a layer mask that will be this icon down here, the box with the circle in it just click on there 
it'll bring up another little box. Make sure you click on that box. You want to make your foreground colour, this one there, black. And click. Select your paintbrush tool, and you we're doing this so that we can paint out any unwanted blurring. So if I was to not want this wheel to be blurred, I would just paint straight through it like that. You can see that it's slowly becoming unblurred. And once again, when doing this image for yourself, you may want to spend a little longer, maybe five ten minutes again, just unblurring as best you can. see that's now unblurred and you can do this for any part of the image and that is about it really um, thanks for watching you can apply this onto most images and it works quite well with images with two people in them when you want to blur out the person behind and put the main focal on the face in front or images such as this when you want to get your background blurred just a lot of images it works well with but thanks for watching please like and subscribe for the video and for maybe more tutorials thank you and goodbye